Hello and welcome to MarathonJourney.com V6.23, where I use the Jeff Galloway Run Walk Run Marathon Training Method to check on the damage done by the storms. What better way to get out and see what's going on than to get out and run? The uh, day today is gorgeous, and we have just gotten through uh, our very long line of storms. The dam. Uh, I guess, uh, from what they tell me, is, uh, or at the lake, is uh, over 900 feet, which means at 901 feet, the emergency spillway uh, starts flowing, and apparently that happened sometime this morning, and the river is just ripping. For those of you who don't know, all their outflow blew out the spillway of Oroville Dam. Oroville Dam is the highest dam in uh, the United States. And our water level is supposed to be a max of 900 feet. At 901 feet, it goes over the emergency spillway and down the, they've never had it happen before, even back in 1997 when we had all the terrible flooding. So uh, we got to go where lots of people aren't supposed to go. And that's because we're out running. They block things off for cars, they block things off for looky-loos, but if you look like you're supposed to be there, because uh, you're out exercising and running, nobody pays attention to you, which is really cool. So we got to see a, a lot of things like the really, really high water. No way in the world were we even close to where we usually run, so we had to run across the top of the levee and, and uh, a lot more on the road than we would like to, but uh, the water was pretty close to where we were. So all in all, we are in great shape. The dam's in great shape. Um, ballpark guess of a hundred million dollars to fix our spillway eventually when it dries out but uh, you know other than that it's it's only tax money <coughs> so we had a great time weather was perfect um, no problems other than the fact that we don't get to run where we normally do now hopefully we're gonna see a little bit of drying the water may recede a little bit and uh, we'll get to go back to some of our regular trails and get to see what happened when uh, Mother Nature kicks in. People forget that every winter this used to happen, not every 20 years. And the more we dam our rivers, the more people become accustomed to having everything controlled. And uh, a lot of things don't happen the way they're supposed to happen. Uh, flooding is a normal part of life by a river. That's what keeps the, uh, the nutrients in the soil and, and keeps everything to the point where you can grow stuff. But we forget about that because we're in a very controlled life. We want to drive everywhere. We want to have air conditioning everywhere. We want to be comfortable everywhere. Well, sometimes that doesn't work out really well. It doesn't work out for, well for your body either. And if you're too comfortable all the time, you end up getting fat, out of shape, and you'll end up dying earlier because of it. There's a way to get around that, and that's get out of your comfort zone. Quit being so comfortable. And the best way to do that is to open up that door, put one foot in front of the other. And if you do that, I'll be seeing you out here on the road.